What's going on everyone? Jeremy here. Before I jump into this video, I worked kind of hard on an Apex Legends review that I uploaded at like one o'clock today. I don't know if you got notified by it or if just literally nobody cared about it. If nobody cared, well then, okay. Um, but I'm gonna leave it linked in the description below as well as my video about how Ubisoft screwed me out of my Tom Clancy The Division 2's beta keys even after buying their expensive G Fuel Sugar Water Totino's Pringles Mamwich edition and by retweeting and promoting their game for them, giving me a used key. Two good videos. Definitely don't want to miss those. And I've been very diligent about letting you all know when I release videos, I think something's going on with YouTube. But let's get into the World of Warcraft secret weapon. I came across a pretty interesting article. I've been keeping an eye on the Activision Blizzard stocks as in general, I don't trust anyone. And I feel like investors probably get some sort of inside scoop before any of us regular normies ever will. And when EA missed their earnings cap the other day and their stock plummeted, uh, EA and Activision stock uh, out of sympathy, I guess investors would call it, also took a pretty deep dive. When you look at this is the day that EA uh, announced it, and they took a huge hit from $47 down to 44 so about 10%, another 10%. And when you're talking about this market, you're talking about significant dollars, millions, hundreds of millions of dollars exchange hands over a $4 share price here. And then I started seeing articles coming out this morning about people buying in to Activision. Articles like Activision Blizzard has lost half of its value in four months, but traders are betting on it. Unusual options for Blizzard, Activision, Blizzard, NVIDIA. And I started digging around and it's been an interesting ride. So Activision Blizzard has lost half of its value in four months, but traders are betting big ahead of earnings next week. So video game stocks slid Wednesday following disappointing earnings from EA and Take Two Interactive. Activision Blizzard reports earnings on Tuesday and traders are betting that the stock moves higher by the end of the week. Now that's Tuesday of next week, obviously. Uh, it's gonna be interesting. If it's lower than expected, you're gonna see a huge recorrection because basically they're betting on it being higher or better than expected. That's gonna be interesting. Competition from free-to-play games like Fortnite has weighed on traditional video game creators over the past year. EA has shed 35%, Activision Blizzard 38%, and Take-Two Interactive down 21%. Now, it's interesting that this article doesn't mention anything about the release of Apex Legends, which you would think competes directly with something like Overwatch. Activision Blizzard has lost half of its value in four months, but the traders are betting big on the stock ahead of next week's earnings. Shares of the video gaming giant slid 10% during Wednesday's session after competitors EA and Take Two Interactive underperformed. Investors are betting that the quarter will have a better one for Activision Blizzard, which reports next Tuesday after close. On Wednesdays, traders bought more than 16,000 Activision calls at a $46 strike price, according to the Institute. John Najran. This particular call, um, the video game giants have been hit hard in the past year as they struggle to compete with free to play games like very popular Fortnite. Take two is down 21 EA. We hit that while traders are betting on short term pop. Um, asset management, Karen Firestone, still believes the stock is not good to own long term. And how can we interpret this uh, as, as gamers? Well, um, essentially, they're betting on whether or not it's going to have a good game or a profitable game uh, released. But then I found another article that thinks it's found Blizzard's secret weapon, Activision Blizzard's secret weapon uh, coming out this summer. While being down 42% since September 2018, the summer, obviously this summer 2019, so just a few months from today, uh, Blizzard's secret weapon World of Warcraft Classic. The core talent and experience of the group remains intact. The current problems are due to management, and this is not representative of the wider company. Interesting. If you're not aware, of course, World of Warcraft 
Craft Classic will be out this summer, summer, and there's already a demo out. Uh, Blizzard announced the release of World of Warcraft Classic today. Now, this is an older article way back in November, uh, confirming that it will debut in summer of 2019. The upcoming Classic will be a take on the popular MMORPG. It is playable at BlizzCon 2018. However, there will be a special World of Warcraft Classic demo available for attendees who didn't get a chance to make it out to the event. Anyone with virtual ticket or regular BlizzCon, um, you get 60 minutes of playtime, 90 minutes of cooldown period. Players will begin at level 15 to get a good feel of what the game's over and be capped at level 19. Um, upon the game's full release, it will be included free with anyone joining with a World of Warcraft existing subscription, which means new players who join the game will have access to the entirety of Warcraft catalog when opening a new account for World of Warcraft Classic without paying an additional fee. The spotlight wasn't solely on BlizzCon, blah, 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 blah. Well, classic World of Warcraft, is that what they're really betting on? Um, it's hard to imagine. Certainly, a lot of players have left the game. A lot of players have left the game. But are they going to come back just because classic is there? I'm not so convinced. I mean, I'm an original classic player, and I haven't really just been sitting here waiting to give Blizzard more money in order to get access to classic. It's going to be interesting. I'm not sure I would call it a secret weapon, but I've, I was only ever a casual player of World of Warcraft. Maybe I put 300 hours in lifetime or something like that. I'm interested to hear what you think. Is Warcraft Classic going to be what turns it around for Blizzard in the face of facing new competition from Overwatch and failing titles like Heroes of the Storm? Or am I just or is it more doom and gloom, I suppose, on the line? It's an interesting conversation. I've said that Blizzard needs to innovate, not go back to the well, but when you have so many shareholders uh, and you're owned by Activision, it's hard to imagine they would be allowed the time to innovate again. You know, Hearthstone isn't exactly fresh anymore. World of Warcraft just had one of the worst expansions in history. Things look bad on a variety of fronts for Blizzard and Activision, really. The idea that World of Warcraft is some sort of savior, the classic edition, seems absurd to me. But maybe I'm just that wrong. Maybe there's that many people that just want to come back and give Blizzard their money. I'm interested to hear what you have to say in the comment section down below. Is it their secret weapon? We'll talk to you again real soon.